So after waiting for a really long time, Roblox has finally made an update to the future is bright system, to the compatibility lightning to be exact. But as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, and let's get into the video. So I'm firstly going to overview the deforum post, which is about the compatibility lightning, becoming retro tone mapping. And there is also a sunset with migration. So right here you have the table of content, there is a new color gradient effect instance, which has a tone mapping preset property. Then there is the removal of compatibility lightning, then how to migrate which I'm gonna show later on, and a local migration script, as well as the frequently asked questions. And right here they are announcing that the compatibility lightning will now be sunset over the course of the next two months, and migrated to the new tone mapping preset. So you can continue achieving a similar visual look for your experience. And a lot of people got angry at this, because they are saying that the retro tone mapping doesn't look the same as the compatibility lightning, but later on I'm gonna be showing examples, so you can basically see for yourself, because it does look really similar, if not the same. This also will enable us to make improvements to our lightning system, such as better lightning scalability, which are constrained by the maintenance of the compatibility lightning. So they are mostly just making this update because of the compatibility lightning, basically holding down the whole system. Since you also have the voxel lightning, shadow map and the future lightning as well. And here they are saying that they encourage you to migrate to voxel lightning as early as possible, where the voxel is basically the same as the compatibility and it also offers the same performance, but it treats light brightness differently. And if you are not using the compatibility lightning, then you have nothing to do. And here is the color gradient effect and the tone mapping preset. So the color gradient effect is a new instance, like I said, that you can add to your post-processing effects under the lightning. And it currently provides one simple property called tone mapping preset, with the default and the retro option, where the retro tone mapping was previously used for the compatibility lightning. And all values of the tone mapping preset can be used with any lightning technology. For example, the retro tone mapping could be used with the future lightning. And then here is the removal of the compatibility lightning, where it's again divided into three phases. You have the migration opt-in, which started now, where you are able to change the compatibility to be migrated to the voxel lightning with the retro tone mapping preset. And also the compatibility lightning will not be available anymore for places already using other lightning technologies. Then the second phase, which is going to be a week of September 16th, which says that the places are going to be automatically migrated from the compatibility to the voxel with the retro tone mapping. And then the phase 3, which is going to be the full sunset, saying that the compatibility lightning will be entirely removed, and it will not be possible to revert this migration anymore. Then here is a guide on how to migrate from the compatibility lightning, where you basically just change the technology property, then click on the three dots that will appear next to it, and then you will have a dialog that will have the migration option, as shown in this video right here. Then here is a note about the lights that change into voxel. Then you have a note to migrate as early as possible to adjust your local lights. And then here you have a comparison on what happens with lights that have more than one brightness value after you migrate. So only the lights are going to look different, but the sunlight is going to be the same. So later you have a piece of code right here that's going to change the brightness value of all of your lights in the game. And this code also uses change history, so you can easily just revert it. And as usual, if you are running into any problems, it's recommended that you post them under this the forum post. And from the frequently asked questions, here they are just giving the reason why they removed the compatibility lightning, saying that it wasn't a real proper lightning technology and they still wanted to keep it in the studio. Then here is a note about the performance, saying that the voxel lightning is basically the same, with a one addition on the tone mapping curve. Then in this paragraph they are saying that they want to provide more tone mapping functionalities and maybe presets in the future, but they don't have anything currently being planned. Then a reason why the migration script doesn't automatically assign the lightning brightness, and it's because it might not generate accurate results in every game. And some stuff to note with scripting the light's brightness. And like I said, I'm going to provide some examples of the old compatibility lightning to the new voxel one with tone mapping. So again, this is the old one, and this is with the tone mapping preset. And the biggest difference is probably just in shadows. So again, this is the compatibility, then the voxel with tone mapping, and the voxel with tone mapping after doing adjustments. So this is going to be the first screenshot, and then after adjustments it's going to look like this. And this is also a pretty neat example of the voxel lightning 
then the voxel with the color grading, then future lightning, and the future with the color grading. And also there is a little bit of a different example that's in like this more darker area where you can see a more drastic effect on the voxel retro technology. And from what I can also see, these lights weren't adjusted yet. But the biggest thing that you can notice is again going to be the shadows. And well, here is a place from my probably outdated and really old lightning tutorial. But let's just see how the new retro tone mapping is going to work. So I bring in the lightning settings, and this is just going to make it a day, and just disable some of the atmosphere. But now on how to use and enable the tone mapping technology, we first need to go into the lightning service, and then from the technology window, if you see we can see that there is no compatibility anymore, but we have these three dots right here next to the box. So if I press on them, it's going to prompt me with the migrate compatibility lightning to voxel lightning, which is saying that this place doesn't require migration, because it's not using the compatibility. But now I can change it to the voxel lightning, and with that I can also add the new instance, which is going to be the color grading effect. And now this color grading is going to have the tone mapper preset property, that I can change from default to the retro. And if I do that, you can see that I'm basically going to have the old compatibility lightning, but let me just change some settings really quickly. And that's a little bit better. So yeah, this might not be the best example because these are PBR materials, so they're not going to be the best for voxel lightning, the same with basically this right here. But if I change the lighting technology to let's say future, well it's also going to have the color grading, it's basically going to produce a different effect as well. And all this color grading instance does, as explained in the dev forum post, is basically change the tone mapping curve. So you can really see how this is going to affect a different Roblox game, so I'm actually just going to hop into a different place. And few of you may know where this is from, but I'm basically just going to use this as an example, where I'm going to change the technology property of the lightning to be voxel, and I'm going to add the color grading effect. And then just change the preset to be retro. And from this place right here it basically looks like this would be the compatibility, even with some of these lights. So again, this is without and this is with. And I've basically made it a day, so let's see how this is going to look like without the tone mapping effect again. So this is the normal voxel lightning, and this is with the retro tone mapping. So yeah, that is basically going to be everything for today. So again, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Also go check out my UGC items and yeah, hope everyone had a nice day and see ya guys.